it's either just going to miss us or it's going to absolutely pummel us. That's a pretty incredible sight. This will be a bloody good test for the uh, test for the setup. It's uh, we just got smacked with a bloody dust storm, and um, yeah, we probably should have uh, probably should have packed up a bit. Uh, this, we're, up, we're up against the walls, just trying to protect this awning. Holding the poles. Look at it coming through there. Oh, I'm just chewing on dust. Yeah, it's not rain yet, it's all dust, eh? We're sitting on dust. We're sitting on dirt. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, you just gotta hold those piles, probably. I'm thinking we gotta hold this more. Eh? Gotta hold these more. Yeah, yeah. How's that one doing over there? Is that alright? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just mad dust storm. We've got no rain yet. The storm's just south. <laughs> and we're all just holding this fucking awning up. <laughs> oh. I really hope the fly in the tent survives. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Darchi's really getting the money's worth. I'll just put, just put this new skin on it, it's probably going to bloody tear. Bad thing. <laughs> Always a cup full of positivity, thank you. Yeah, it's okay when we. What was that? Right, we're about 14 minutes in, 15 minutes in. We're still holding it all together. I don't know how the fly in the tent's staying on there, but she is. It's absolutely mental. It's got to be over soon. But anyway, it'd be good to get a quick snapshot outside. Well, we're going down no. there. We can't put the awning on there. Righto. Oh. What's going on? Ching ching. Ching ching. I'm um, your mum and I now have a new hairstyle. Yes. Yep. I did and especially. I've got new a new pattern. Yeah. From the dust door. <laughs> Skies are clearing up now. We absolutely got pumped. And she's uh the Dachi awnings had the dick. But anyway. She is ruined. A brand new. Brand new skin, brand new skin. has ripped to pieces. And uh, the tent's held up well except for the fly. Just torn straight through the middle. So anyway. We'll um Yeah, just have a bloody stiff drink. We're booked in to go to the uh, dinner tonight on the other side of the hill. 
and um, they're still operating, so that's all good. But uh, we had, it was recorded just at the airstrip out the back here, just got told before, just over 100 kilometer an hour winds. So, yeah, that'll do it. Last day in Whitecliffs. One to remember. Definitely one to remember. What did they say? They said, come along. You'll have a good time. You'll have an adventure, they said. Yeah, it's like Die Hard. Yeah, hope they, told, they told me they'd give me an adventure. Die I've harder. had two and nearly two heart attacks. But I'm all okay. Poor old mum was nearly getting blown away by the force of the wind. I was nearly Dorothy in Kansas. But anyway, what's done is done. Learning curve. Pack that shit away before something like comes along. But we just. I don't even know if we would have had time. Oh, we would have if we were a bit more smart about it. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, you couldn't you couldn't have guessed a hundred kilometer an hour winds. So anyway, and they got no remaining peg in the ground. And they got no radar out here. It just comes in before it's too late. So anyway. That's us for the rest of the evening. We'll go up to this uh, underground hotel motel and um, get a few more rumbies and have a nice dinner. Then uh, come back, go to bed and pack it up tomorrow. Got to drop old mate Siv back. Didn't really rain too much. So we might go out after and do some prospecting later on tonight. But we found a few good little pieces out the back here. So we might just get the black light out the back here again and go over there. But um, yeah, I'll have one more crack at that before we go. And then, uh, yeah, onward to the next uh, destination, which might just be Cobar tomorrow. And then we're booked in, or we're gonna book in at a national park and we'll have to get all our insurance claims sorted for this. I'm not sure, we'll have to add up everything, but be a few grand worth of, uh, a few grand worth there. But anyway. Right, the Whitecliffs Underground Motel. The old Falcon Ute right there. Beautiful, beautiful outlook too. Just looking up over the plains. Absolutely beautiful. Little fireplace out the front there. It's not lit up tonight though, but go and suss it out. Absolutely beautiful. And this is where we have uh, this is where we're seated for dinner. In a dugout. It's bloody awesome. All these little tunnels over there. Oh, so mad. Yeah, it's our dinner table. Down here's dugouts. Oh, a nice little wine cellar. How good's that? More seating. A lot of historical stuff all around the place. Awesome. Absolutely love this stuff, eh? It's so good. Totally see, see myself living it. Don't know about Michelle, but uh, I reckon she'd be keen for it. Right, oh, well, that was Whitecliffs, and it was uh, pretty bloody good. And eventful. And very eventful, done. <laughs> learnt a lot. <laughs> Yet again, we learnt uh, to be a little bit more prepared in the um, with the pending weather. We didn't have any warning of that though. There's no radar out this way, so by the time you know something's coming, uh, unless one of the nearby stations uh, phoned it in and everyone lets everyone know apparently, you kind of just, uh, yeah, just stay tuned in and have a look at the direction that the weather generally comes from and uh, get prepared pretty quickly. But um, that just swept up on us yesterday real quick. Oh, minutes. Yeah. So we'll, um, so yeah, we'll be a bit more selective with uh, warnings from now on. I uh, did nearly survive it, but um, yeah, just couldn't hold on for another five, ten minutes. But anyway. Yeah, but the winds were like up to 95 kilometres an hour. Yeah, well that's it. Intense. They recorded 95 yeah. kilometres an hour at the airport or something. Yeah. So anyway, so we're off today, but um, 
I don't know where we head up, Cobar probably, yeah, somewhere around there. And uh, we're going to make our way to Weddon Mountains National Park for a few days before making our way into Wagga. But the, um, the awning's fully insured, so um, Michelle's phoned them up this morning. And um, yeah. put a claim in. Put a claim in and uh, just pay a couple hundred bucks, and um, we should uh, be able to organise another awning. It's worth itemising it though. Yeah, absolutely. Cause it's, one, it's like a pretty key key component to the setup, but um, yeah, just have to be better prepared in uh, in the case of the weather. But we were lucky we weren't on like out on a tour or anything where you know in that sort of town you're underground or whatever, and um, yeah, you wouldn't have even known. You would have got back and it just would have been totally destroyed. And I've also um, sent 230 an email and a photo of their fly tearing. So. Um, that not, that's not much chop, but um, it was pretty decent wind, so I doubt we'll uh, experience that too often. Hopefully. No. <laughs> but anyway, there'll be a few little bits of water to cross today. Might actually hit them because uh, got a bit of mud underneath. Here we go. There we go, I should clean things up a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. On to the next. And today's actually a month in, but today's the 24th. Uh, our calendar month. Calendar month. Anyway, onward. <laughs>